the finished product in the oven. If I open it up, got lat two latches holding it. I got a door switch, lights, I got some bars that hang things on it. Uh, not shown in the video as I added a third element. These two are 4,000 watts, that's 3,000. And I also want to put some steel behind them to help keep them from radiating the heating the walls. My temp sensor, I did have a fan in there, but the shaft was too short and it got so hot that it um, got into the motor and didn't like it. But if I close it up, here's my control system I made. I did not shoot this on the video. It was a little too hard to do, but inside my power comes in. I got, this is a 60 amp, 240 volt switch. So I can switch off the full load on it. It's hard to see, but I got a five volt power supply. These are my high power relays, um, LCD screen. It's all controlled by a little pick controller that I programmed that's right there. This is the circuitry, a couple pots for adjusting the the uh, intensity of the LCD and the other ones for calibrating the uh, thermistor. So um, I got it set so anytime it's five degrees above temperature, click. I got two ast um, asterisks shown when the heaters are on. You can see my relays are on. Um, one thing is if you open the door and the door switch opens, I don't know if you can hear it, but the relay shut off and it actually says door uh, door open. So that way you don't have the elements going. And then when you close it, they click back on and she starts to heat up. It takes, yeah, I put fiberglass insulation and it doesn't burn. It's on, it doesn't have any backing. I might try to put some uh, rock wool in because I still have a gap there, but it takes about 25 minutes to get up the temperature. But like if I crank my set point up, I can crank it up and we'll let it heat up just a little bit here. But the top asterisk is for the two side elements. The bottom one is for the back one. So when I'm below five degrees of the set point, it turns the back on. If it goes to 10 degrees below the set point, it'll turn both of them on. So, um, and I mean, it draws about 40 amps at 240, so I got a pretty heavy cable. But I give it a sec. The window is from an oven, just an old oven. And um, I got 18 gauge steel on the front. The inside walls, I think, are 16 gauge. So it, um, it's six feet tall inside, three feet deep, and about three and a half feet wide. So I can get pretty good parts. I did my bumper to my truck in here. So I wanna wait for the elements to heat up for a second. So if I open this up now, they're gonna shut off, but you get the idea. There's quite a bit of heat going in.